Hello everyone, my name is Mr. Jersey, and welcome to my channel. Now in this video we are going to be checking out the Douglas DC-10 and we've got a little bit of a flight mission for ourselves here in Stormax. But before we get started with this video, if you are enjoying my videos, don't forget that like and subscribe button and the little bell icon to be notified for my upcoming content as soon as it gets posted. And while you're watching, let me know your thoughts in the comments below and what else you'd like to see in my future videos. So with that all said, let's get straight into it and get started with this video. So getting started, we're going to be checking out this American Airlines Douglas DC-10. Now this is the first time I'm having a look at this plane and it looks absolutely awesome. He's done a great job obviously with the wedges that we have here in game. It looks really quite nice and impressive. I love the wings here and how they are spanning out. Now we've got a nice little mission that we're going to be taking care of today. Um, so we're going to be flying from here at the Soy at Harrison Air Base. Uh, we're going to be taking off in a northerly direction, well, northeasterly direction. And we're going to be heading all the way up to the Arctic here. It's going to be a little bit of a long flight today, uh, but the weather conditions are quite nice. You can see here we've got the airstrip that we're going to be flying to, currently about 96 kilometers away from that. Um, yeah, so we've got a nice little flight. Weather conditions are quite good at the moment. They could turn bad maybe later on. Obviously, you have to check the weather system as once we get in the plane. So to get in the plane, you can use the included handles here. And there's also a lever here to open the door. But I'm actually just going to do, because I don't have a stair trolley and obviously we're just by ourselves today. I'm just going to go and make ourselves inside the cab there. As you can see, there is an open option here. So you can go and open the door. Uh, and we can also go and close it and so on. Um, open close etc so there's different options here for these doors uh to open and close them so we're just going to leave them now let's have a look inside the interior it looks like we've got fire extinguisher and some cctv there and some tv we've got a beautiful cabin inside here which is pretty good now fps is okay we're getting a little bit of a little bit of physics lag um but it looks like we've got first class and we've got economy here what's the back we've got some toilets some more things we've got a flight recorded hatch okay that's pretty cool um and that's pretty much about it for the interior so let's go and see if we can get into the cockpit here just gonna make our way across and got a bathroom another bathroom we even got a mirror in there that's quite nice let's go and close that uh we've got the flight deck that we can go and open up and it's a really nice looking flight deck he's apparently made this as original as possible uh, we'll see tons of different hinges and different panels and things like that. And as I said earlier, there's a whole starting up procedure. So we're going to have to try and follow that as best as we can. Um, so the first thing we have to do is get the relays. So we'll get all the relays here. And we need to get our panel lighting relays on too. Uh, what else do we need to do? Let's see. So we need to see on the FE panel, we need to turn the battery and then turn the APU fuel. So battery, APU fuel. And we also need to go and do start select an APU battery so start select okay so that's fine there's a bus there I don't know if we need the bus okay well we've got that on he said turn the A so he said start select and then we also need to do APU battery so I'm guessing that is it there okay so we'll get that on now uh, we need to get the master switches on too so that's the master switch there Along with that, we need to get the generators and the four bleed airs. So gen one, two, three, four, and we need to bleed the airs. Okay, we also need to get the tank one, two, and three. Everything else looks good. Uh, then what we need to do is we need to get pedestal. We need to turn the fuel switches on. So fuel one, two, three, four. Overhead panel, engine ignition, run switch, and then start the engine. So get those three on. We need to turn on the three hydraulic pumps. So one, two, three. Okay, so hydraulic pumps are on. Okay, that looks good to me. Uh, we need to turn on the anti-ice. So let's get all three of those on. I'm guessing we need all three. Um, we need to get open hydraulic system valves and turn the pumps on. So on the right here, we need to get valves open and then we need to get the pumps on. Okay, I'm guessing that's going to work now. Uh, turn on the galley power and shut down the APU. So galley power will be, let's see, galley power on and then shut down the APUs. Now the engine should hopefully stay on. Guessing they are ready to go. I think it looks fine to me. 
So let's go and turn. So those engines just seem to automatically cut off. So yeah, they seem to cut off. So we're going to get that APU back on. Um, maybe we need this on. There we go. Cool. Then we can get the, that. Perfect. Okay. So he didn't actually say anything about the GPU battery bus as far as I'm aware in any of the instructions. Um, but maybe I missed something. But cool. That's good. Um, we need to turn off the engine ignition run switch. Okay. I think. I'd probably say no because now we're dropping RPS. So I'm going to get that on then. Let's leave that on. We'll build some up. Well, maybe we need to build some RPS up. Uh, cool. What else can we do? Taxi lights. Uh, we don't need taxi landing. We don't need navigation. We do. Anti collision. We do. Logo. No. Uh, flight deck. Door. No. Seat belts. No. Auto brakes. No. Evacuation. No. Flight data. No. GPS override. Warning. No. We don't need any of that. What about some lights inside here? So speed brakes. Galley lights. No. Cabin lights. No. Dim. No. Center pedestal. Ooh. That looks fancy. That's quite nice. Uh, in up, in up, in up, it's fine. Throw up and down, not yet. Altitude holds, we'll get that sorted out in a few minutes. I think everything else is pretty much good. Uh, we do have a hydraulic low pressures issue at the moment. I don't know what is currently going on with that, but we'll keep an eye on it for now. We've got cabin select temperatures, push to talk, overflow valve, in up, that's fine. Okay, so let's jump into our captain's seat. Let's go and check all of our pedals and things and make sure there's a little lag there. Okay, so you can see that is working. Those flaps are working on the other side. What about left and right? Yep, that's working. What about pitch? Oh, no, that's throttle. That is throttle that I was meant to turn on. Okay, uh, pitch up and down is working, so that's fine there too. What we can go and do is let's go and get our brakes. No, I don't want brakes yet. Throttle down, please. Okay. Just wait for that to get sorted. Let's keep an eye on these engines here. Seems to be losing RPS very quickly. And we need to get our starter off too. To meet this up ever so slightly. Maybe, maybe not. Get the bus off. There we go. Okay, that's perfect. Uh, cool, let's get our, all of our systems ready. So radium freaks we don't need, auto brake settings we don't need either. Is there an option to enter in some altitude? So alt hold up and down, so we can set that. Let's do, what? okay, 1800, sure, why not? Okay, alt hold will get on, roll dampener will get on too. In up, in up, in up, in up. Okay, is there an option for autopilot somewhere? I didn't see anything regarding autopilot anywhere there's no heading hold either as far as i can see let's just jump out just make sure that we didn't miss anything with like an auto hold or heading hold or something like that i don't see anything gpws warning override i don't think anything about okay so i guess there is no autopilot in this plane so we just got an alt hold system and a roll dampener okay that's fine uh, cool. Well, we can get parking brake is going to be disabled. Let's get our throttle up here. And uh, let's see if we can actually just start angling. We'll probably get... Can we turn to the right, please, a little bit? A little bit to the right. Nice wheel steering. A little bit to the right. There we go. That's better. Let's get throttle up. We are leaning a little bit to the left. We've gone off the runway, but uh, anyway, let's just pull it up. Throttle up. Nice. Didn't see any flaps either. I got speed brakes and things. That's fine. Okay. Ooh. This thing is quick. Uh, landing gear. Also didn't see anything about landing gear. We've got throttle up and down. Fuel. Speed brakes. Gaddy lights. Flaps. Ah, uh, there's the flaps. Didn't miss those earlier. Uh, we probably can get uh, everything else is fine. Don't think we need anything else on, do we? That looks fine. Ooh, we need to get the engine start ignition off okay that's fine what about landing gear oops hello raise landing gear landing gear raising cool nice nice and smooth going and folding up 
very sensitive. Very, very, very sensitive. Is there any other roll dampeners that I can see? I'm just trying not to... Let's get this old hold on. Two thousand two hundred. Can you go up, please? Um, auto brakes, transponder, taxi lights. Let's get these dampeners on. I'm hoping this is okay. Flight directory. Yeah. Okay. There we go. So we are climbing now. We should be climbing up to our speed of what two thousand two hundred. That's probably way too much to be honest. Uh, let's go and drop that down to about a thousand, and we'll start angling it off here. Woo! That's very sensitive. very very sensitive there and possibly he could have designed this to be used with a joystick uh i could be wrong but it's a really cool looking plane from this angle really spectacular and how he's done that design with the wedges hello autopilot okay so we seem to be leveled off here we can probably get our throttle down ever so slightly that chair seems like it's having fun there too uh what is our current speed 136 actually let's get that up Let's just use all our fuel. We should have more than enough to get there. Oh, he's not climbing that much. Everything else is pretty much on and ready to go. Uh, we've got about 80Ks. Oh, that's actually going quite quicker than I thought. Uh, lights are all good. We're running nice and smoothly. And you can see the plane. Yeah, really cool. A little bit tricky there, obviously, with the starting up and everything. Uh, but once you've got that sorted, it's fine. Uh, everything else works fine. So, yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to head off. As I said, we don't have that far to go, so I'll meet you guys back. We're going to go about what, 10Ks, 15Ks away, and we'll start making our descent into the Arctic. Now, we're about 17Ks away from my first waypoint, which is just over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be flying to this waypoint, and then I'm going to set another waypoint over there so we can actually just start making our final approach into, into the actual Arctic airstrip. You can see we're not too far away, but another cool feature about this plane is at the back here he's actually or he or she has got some um, system failures so you can actually go and toggle to say well there's a fire or there's a rudder failure or there is hydraulics failures um, so this is pretty cool that you can simulate some emergencies um, so you can imagine like we going in for landing we could say oh well there's a fire in the engine and we lose one of our engines all of a sudden um, so it's quite a cool little feature that he's got in there which is quite nice what we're going to do is you can see we're about 10 k's away from our first waypoint here that we're going to do what i'm going to start doing is i'm going to get the flaps down uh for this actual landing here i'm also going to get obviously our landing gear down for that and i'm going to start decreasing our throttle ever so slightly here so i'm going to really drop it down to about 96 for now um i'm also going to get our speed brake setting as you can see zero is normal one for heavy braking and two for full stop so we're going to go with a heavy braking for our example when we go down there. Let's just keep an eye on our speeds of 102, so that's fine. You can see we've got our first waypoint here, so we're going to start coming in, and then we're going to be heading. Oops, no, we're going to be heading for our final destination, which is just going to be over there. So you can see we can start to make our turn. I'm going to keep our altitude. I'm going to probably drop it down to about 700 for now, and let's start doing a little bit of a bank here to the left okay, not really too much of a bank that it's letting me do uh, i'm guessing because we have the alt hold on but that's fine let's just start moving to the left a bit start making our turn ever so slightly to the left because i'm just using the rudder now for some reason i actually can't i'm guessing it's because i've got yeah i've got the flight directory on that's why it wouldn't let me do it i'm gonna drop it back on and just keep my alt hold here I'm very surprised that he doesn't have a bearing, a, uh, like a heading hold or bearing or anything like that on this plane uh, or any type of, you know, any type of autopilot system. I would have loved to have seen it. Um, but anyway, it still works very well in any case. So we've got 13 Ks. We're going to start dropping it down to the throttle that he recommends is going to be, let's see, 35 for landing throttle. Uh, which is quite low, but that's fine. We're going to get a little bit closer. We're obviously going to decrease our altitude a bit. We're going to drop down. Let's go about 300. Should be fine. Should be enough also to clear those mountain ranges there. We can start doing a little bit more of a turn to the left here also. So 300 should be fine. And you can see we've now about 10 k's away from our final descent and final actual landing here. 
we've got everything set up we've got the flaps on we've got our landing gear down we've got brake systems on we've got speed brakes we don't think we need the speed brakes to be honest because we will decrease our throttle and it seems like the speed does get affected by the throttle quite quickly um so you can kind of just see in the far distance there the actual landing strip and it's moving a little bit to the left here now let's start bringing our throttle down he says 35 is what we need so it's very sensitive though i would like to see an easier way of doing that so 37 is currently our throttle what is our speed speed is around 54 and we're just going to keep it in a nice little speed here we'll start decreasing our altitude probably get our flight directory off altitude off also try and keep the nose up here ever so slightly best as i can we're gonna try and keep the stable also i've got all the dampeners on so hopefully it's gonna help us so let's just keep try and keep it above the mountain range here. it does seem to want to move quite a bit to the left and right but i'm guessing that's just simulating kind of like a normal landing with obviously with a lot of wind so let's just keep it up here try and keep our altitude up and then we should be able to come in for a nice landing. Let's make sure we clear this mountain range that we have just before the airport. Okay. We're going to go very close to that mountain range, I think. Let's try and keep the nose up here. Try and start making a turn to the right. Oh, yeah. We are just short of that mountain range. But you can see the airstrip is just over there. I'm trying to keep it as steady as I possibly can here. Okay, let's bring it up a bit. Switch to third person mode here. That's... Actually, I'd love to remove that waypoint now, but I can't. It seems though we are in the very last minute here of landing. Okay, let's try and bring it up, 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 up use the tail here to try and just bring us to whoa we just hit the runway oh that wasn't good at all can we recover this at all pretty much no that is a crash landing emergency we are off the runway engines on fire we're in the water emergency exits get out of the plane I completely failed that one. I hit the runway with the landing gear. Let's get... Come, lift bar. Open these doors, please. Open, open, open. Open the door. Open the door. Let us out. Okay. Next emergency exit. Let's go for it. Fake door? What do you mean, fake door? I need an emergency exit before we drown. Is this also a fake door? No, this is not a fake door. Can you open this door, please? There we go. Okay, we've out the plane. Oh, man. The plane's great. It flies all right. Uh, it takes a lot. Obviously, I think this is more for an advanced pilot than it is for a beginner jumping into the game. I think also with a joystick, it might be easier to fly with. Um, but yeah, it's still a great little plane. Definitely something you guys can go and check out. I like the idea of the failures. Um, we didn't even need that. We caused our own failure here <laughs> where we did a, where we actually strike the landing gear and we actually managed to completely destroying and crash land this plane but yeah i think that's a great place to end this video off with uh let me know what you guys think of this video would you like me to see something else out in the future or maybe other some other planes or maybe some flight missions here uh i'm doing a lot of aviation stuff at the moment just because i'm actually building my own plane as you guys probably have seen already uh we've got the dash 8 that's almost done here and i will be doing another video on that later on but yeah, let me know what you guys think of this video and until the next one, we shall see you and I hope you have enjoyed this advanced maintaining and warm tip as always and we'll see you in the next one.